Okay, so as I mentioned in the last video, we're going to do a really quick activity um, where you're basically going to try experimenting with these three commands and enter them into the MySQL CLI. So if you stopped it, if you quit, make sure that you open it back up using the CLI command and then try running these one at a time and just see what happens. So pause the video if you'd like and do that and then come back and in a few seconds we'll go over what happens. All right, so let's start with the first one, help. So I'm going to clean up my terminal here just by using the clear command. Then I'm going to access the CLI. I'll just use the up arrow. So now I have this CLI, command line interface, ready for me to type some commands. Um, so I will do that first one, which is help. And you can see we're actually prompted to type that. So when I hit enter, all it does is give me a, a list of commands of things that I can do. You can see we've got things like clear, help, which we just used, print, prompt. We've got quit, which we already used as well. Basically, it's just a list of things that you can do. As you can see, we can also try help contents. And we basically get uh, a list of uh, categories that we could access. So if we wanted to know more about, let's just pick one of these at random, don't worry. Let's try data types. We can do help data types. And it kind of dives down further and gives us information about what those are. We haven't talked about data types, so don't stress about that. The next command to try is show databases. So we'll come back Try that, show databases. And it gives us this nice little representation here of the current databases that we have in this instance of MySQL. So we haven't talked about how you make a new database. You might be wondering what's going on. There's already five of them here. All of those were created automatically when we created this MySQL instance. So don't worry, we, it doesn't really matter what they are right now, but they're there automatically. There are five different databases. In the next section, we'll actually talk about what a database is, when you create a new database, why you create a new one, when you use the same one. But I just wanted to show you this command because you'll be able to use it in the future. When you create a new database and you wanna make sure it worked, you can type show databases and you should see a new one added below. And the final command here is select at at hostname. This is also kind of a weird one that most likely you will never type after this, but I just wanted to show it to you. Not because it's something you need to do, but just it's something that you can do quickly and immediately. And all of this here is just to illustrate the point that the CLI works by you typing commands, hitting enter, and getting some text back. So that process over and over and over. So here, tells me that my at host name is this string here, basically my, user, uh, my username. Yours will be different depending on your workspace and your username. So as I mentioned, it's honestly not important what it is or why it's there at this point, but I just wanted you to see that you can type these commands in and get something back out. So that's it for this really quick kind of silly exercise, but in the next section, we're gonna start actually learning SQL commands. So you'll be able to start interacting immediately, creating databases, creating new tables, adding data into those tables. And it gets a lot more interesting there, I promise.